Good evening YouTube and welcome to what is now episode 4 of our Citroen Dispatch Micro Camper Build. Now in this episode we are going to be fitting these side windows. We're putting two of these in, one in each side loading door. So without further ado, let's go do some pre-flight checks. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is check you've got everything to do the job because the last thing you want to do is cut a big hole in your van and realise you've missed something out. So, obviously, windows. Also with the windows, you should have your edging trim. This can vary whether it's going on over one single piece of metal or two, so you need to check that on your van. But nine times out of ten, just a single edging trim like that is sufficient. A bonding kit. Now this window kit comes from Van Pimps, as you'll see they're branded on there. I'm not paid or endorsed by them, it's just who we use and who we've got a trade account with. You've got your sealant. Your glass wipes for prepping the surface. The primer that we apply to the glass. The applicator for the primer. Some rubber gloves which I never use and always get it all over my hands. And the nozzle. So you'll notice here that the nozzle has got a triangular shape cut out the back of it and a piece sticking up there. And that is to give you the depth of your bead. So you always have that triangle running away from the direction that you're going in and it'll leave a nice triangular pyramid shaped bead for you to squash down. You're also going to need a corking gun. A hand cranked one would be fine, but let's face it, who doesn't need an excuse to go out and buy a power tool you're never going to use again. That sealant is very thick. After a while, your hands get tired. So, treat yourself. Get yourself an electric one. But a hand cranked one is fine. You're also going to need a drill and I like to use one of these because we're going to be using a nibbler so that gives you a nice wide hole to get your nibbler into. A nibbler, for me this is the best way to cut your windows out. Jigsaws you risk scratching it using the on the frame and grinders you risk getting hot sparks all over your paintwork. Nibblers are the future. Pick yourself a cheap nibbler up and you can get a 240 volt version if you don't have a compressor to run it off. Window suction thing is, so these are not essential, especially the window of this size you should manage, but large windows such as an IV core or maybe some sprinter windows and that type of thing, you might struggle getting that window up and straight without a set of these. See if your friend's got a set, because as I say, this is another thing that if you have only fit in one set of windows into one van, you're probably never going to use them again. And we've got a file, just to file the edges down and make sure it's nice and smooth. And then some primer. Uh, all we're going to do is use a little bit of this, spray it into the cap, and then with a paintbrush, we're going to apply it around all the bare metal where we've cut the window out. You are also going to need a grinder with a thin cutting blade. This is not for cutting the exterior of the van, but I will show you what it is for later on in the video. And finally, masking tape. So once you've stuck your window onto the van, you'll see later on, you just run a few beads of masking tape down just to hold it in place while that sealant goes off. And now we've got one more pre-flight check to do before we start cutting holes in the van. And that is to make sure that these windows definitely fit the van. You want to offer them up to where they're going before you cut the hole. Because again, once you've cut the hole in your van and you find that, you know, a mistake's been made. They've sent you the wrong window. It could happen and it doesn't fit. Now you've got a massive hole in your van and nothing to stick in it. So I'll always check the window fits before you cut your hole. So first thing we're going to need to do is drill a hole for our nibbler to go into. Now we're going to be following this metal edge here. So you need to make sure when you're drilling your hole you want to be fairly close to it but don't go so close that when your hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger enough to get your nibbler in you're not eating into that. So just come a little bit away from there and drill yourself a hole. You might find it easy to drill yourself multiple holes because sometimes with a nibbler it can be a bit tricky to get round a corner so it's easier just to have a second hole so you can just come down and into the corner in a different direction. Now 
Now this is where your grinder is going to come in. We need to cut a nibbler sized hole through this support here and here. Obviously always use a guard on your grinder, always have your PPE on. Now with those chopped out it is time to get nibbling. Once you've got the hole cut out, you're just going to need to take your file and file up all these little sharp edges just to make sure it doesn't pierce that trim when you put it on shortly. Now this is not usually a step that I have to do, but since I'm doing it, I thought I might as well share it with you. I noticed that the sealant that seals the two skins of the van had failed. So what I've done is put some Sikaflex all around there and then we've clamped it on just to get that bonded back together because the last thing you want is the window to be attached to the outer one and the outer skin not attached to the inner skin so that means the window can go like this and could potentially damage the window, fall, fall out, break, you know, it's not the best. So, so all we've done is put Sikaflex where the old sealant was all the way around the outside and then clamped it on. So that has put a stop to my window fitting until that goes off. See you shortly. So while we're waiting for this to go off, uh, there is one job that we can be getting on with and that is painting around this bare metal edge. So the way I do that is I just, obviously we don't spray it because you'll end up with it all over the van, is I just spray a little amount into the cap and then we paint that using a little artist brush and we paint that around the outside I'm just using primer even if you've got something like Amorite it's fine you're literally just covering that very edge uh, just be very careful that you don't let paint run down the outside of the van Now obviously when I take these clamps off I'm going to have to go around and fill the gaps in where the clamps are so that now gone off, we've touched all the we've touched all the paintwork up and it's time to apply our beading. Now at the beginning I did forget to tell you two things that you're gonna want, and well, that is a mallet, either wooden or rubber. I do prefer my wooden one, but I can't find it. And then to trim the beading, we're gonna want either a set of cutters or a knife. There is a piece of metal inside this, so the cutters you do need to cut through, but you can sometimes, a knife, you can get a nice, really clean, just tidying up. So I like to use a bit of both and I'll show you. I like to put the joint on this back edge here. It seems to be the, for me, it seems to be the most inconspicuous place to have it so you don't notice it so much. When you're cutting this, I always like to cut it a little bit bigger because you can always cut a little bit off, but you can't add a little bit back on. So I always cut it a little bit bigger and then trim back. Another thing that I didn't tell you you needed at the beginning of the video is thinners. So now we're going to have to clean all here because as you can see it's dirty for a start and any grease and grime that's on there, you can see my fingerprints stuck to a piece of sticky stuff, all of that needs to be clean and degreased so that when we bond the window to it, it stays there. So that's our next job, get some thinners and clean all that area. So, time to prep the glass. This is where the bubble wrap comes in handy that the glass comes with. Uh, so what I like to do is actually 
So I like to actually stick these on now and then turn it over on them. And that way they're already, it's ready there. Once you've done all the priming, you don't have to touch any of it. You can just reach under, grab it and straight onto the van. So, step one, glass primer. So you're going to prime just the, the blacked out edge all the way around the outside. So we're going to wipe it down with a wipe first. Let's say, depending on where you get your kit from, they may have different primers, different methods uh, for their adhesion. So you should always follow the instructions with the kit that you get because they are known to be slightly different. And let's say this is how the Van Pimps kits work. Once that's dried, we can add the primer. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we can get ready with our sealant. So we just need to pop the hole in the top, bolt or a screwdriver or something. Screw on our cap and get that into our gun ready. As you can see, because I've had to wait for that sealant to go off, we're running out of daylight now. I really need to get this done because it's going to rain tomorrow. How the joys have not been able to work inside anymore. Time to bond in the window. So again, I like to start at the bottom. And my theory is we do one continuous bead all the way around and never stop. So where they meet in the middle, if it was to start at the top, if you didn't get them crossed over enough that's where you don't want any water sitting and a possible leak so I always like to start at the bottom and make sure the joints are the bottom and in that way if for some reason those two don't meet perfectly we're not going to get a leak There's always a bit left over, so I usually do a second do and so I usually just do another stripe down here in this wide area where it can take it. Perfect, it's just run out. Put your masking tape on the roof of the van, and then that way. As soon as you press that window on, it's there to grab. Because I have left it behind me and out of reach before, and then I'm always scared to actually let go and go and get it, just in case the window slips. Just check the gap runs nice and parallel at the bottom. Now, while well, you've got time to adjust it slightly if you need to, give it a really good press all the way around, making sure that you're squashing that adhesive right in. And then tape. And there you are, sports fans. One 
fitted window. Obviously, I'm going to do that again to the other side loading door. But obviously, I'm not going to show you that because it is exactly the same procedure. I hope you've enjoyed the video, which has been episode four in our micro camper build. We've got loads left to do on this van, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with this entire van build and also all the other camper van related content that we release on this channel every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Remember, if in doubt, get the Sikaflex out and we'll see you next Tuesday.